What's going on guys? This is Sin and I am back here with some more Pokemon. Well, this is my first episode of Pokemon Heart Gold Egglock. This is going to be the Send Me Eggs episode. And I'm going to show you guys how to do eggs again. And I, I'm not going to go as far as putting them into the game, of course, because I have to have the eggs first. But anyway, I will show you how to do the eggs and all that good shit today. And we're going to do this first part. It says dot 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 yawn. Oh. Huh, I guess at this hour? Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. If we, but if before we go any further, I should tell you a few things you should know about this world. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known Pokemon, as known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside these Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, at times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop their closer bonds with them. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Are you a boy or a girl? I'm definitely a boy. Yes. Of course, in all my Let's Play, well, most of my Let's Plays, I'm going to start calling myself Sin in all these Let's Plays. Sin, are you ready? Your very own tale of grand adventures about to unfold. Fun experiences and difficult experiences. There's so much waiting for you. Dreams, adventure. Let's go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. So basically what I want you guys to do is... And if you have Pokegen already, uh, that's great. But I will explain the rules of an egg lock while we were talk while we're going through the dialogue here. Uh, the first rule of an egg lock, well, they're all basically Nuzlocke rules. The three basic Nuzlocke rules are the first po the first encounter on the Pokemon you have to catch. Otherwise, if you kill it, then you can't catch any more Pokemon on the route. Second off. Uh, you have to nickname all your Pokemon and third off if a Pokemon dies it's considered dead and it can no longer be used and if you white out the game is over kinda like what we did in the Leaf Green Nuzlocke that we just finished yesterday the other day so yeah it's all good there uh, except this time uh, of course you know the egg lock that we're doing over on Just Play Pokemon me and JPP are doing together um, with Diamond and Pearl so yes, I'm doing two Gen 4 egg locks. It's kind of weird, but whatever. Right? So, everything that we need to know, we're going to show both screens this time. Since, uh, you know, I am doing this solo this time. But basically, yeah. Um, everything we need to know for an egg lock. And, you, and instead of like, it's kind of like one of those wonder lock things. Like you say that people love so much from Pokemon X and Y of Wonderlocks. It's basically like that. It's like you get a you get a Pokemon from an egg that you guys send to us via email or Skype depending on which one you, it's easier for you. Uh, if you don't have me on Skype, I'm not going to give you guys my Skype. Don't want you. It's nothing personal. It's just I don't want to be bothered 24/7 especially since I have such a busy schedule. So um you know, I'll um when I'm showing you how to make the eggs, I will leave my email in the uh, screen for you guys, so you guys can see that. So let's get this going on. Let's go to a new. Let's go to Professor Elm's house. There's that creep over there. Hi, Sin. I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon carried are carried in these Pokeballs these days. Before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk with their Pokemon, just like your friend Laria does. Pokeballs are great because they can help you carry the Pokemon. But with walking Pokemon, has, walking with the Pokemon must have some advantages. It can grow. It can have something to do with the Pokemon's growth or evolution. So I'm gonna give you a Pokemon. Can it, you walk beside this Pokemon outside of the Pokeball to see if this brings any special feelings or bonds between the Pokemon and people? The device over there has some Pokemon you can choose from. Well, oh, hey, I got an email. Uh, um, uh, okay. Hey, listen, I have an acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding these weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that it's, this time it's real. It's probably another Pokemon egg. Really? <laughs> We're not using that egg in the egg lock. I know where, I already know what it is, and it's, I, it's technically not even legal. So, it's, it's donated by you guys. So, that egg doesn't count. 
But we're still busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. We can go to our place. You can go to our place, right? We can. Can we count on you? You can choose one of the Pokemon over there. Let's see, let's see what we can get. Of course, I'm probably. I'm gonna go to Cyndaquil just for the hell of it. Cyndaquil looks like the shit. Cyndaquil is the shit. We're not. We're not even worried about nicknames at this point because we're we're gonna end up trading it in anyway. So. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? You can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. But if your Pokemon gets hurt, you'll heal it with this machine. Check on its use. Check the, check the PC on my desk. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere for his rhyme, finds rarities. His house is over at Cherry Grove City. Just past the nor a little north. Go north a little past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Sin. Yep. Obtain potions. Pokemon are weak at the beginning. Don't hesitate to use a potion if your Pokemon looks like it's in danger. Alright. There's her with her Mara, Larry, Lyra. Lyra. So you picked Cyndaquil. That's such a cute Pokemon you have. When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should walk around with it. Uh, turn around and talk to it sometimes. Oh, that's right, Sin. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya. A little stupid Meryl. Cyndaquil is sniffing at Sin. Don't sniff my butt. I already have my cat doing that enough already. Oh, Sin, that's a cute Pokemon you have. Professor O must have given it to you. Blah, blah, blah. Alright. We're going to get to the part where we get to the Pokemon Center, and then we will stop the episode here. So we're going to run as fast as we fucking can. I swear. Yes, I remember how. We don't even have running shoes, like it really matters at this point anyway. Wait a second, come on, man. Here, I'll give you my number. I don't need your number. Remember, these don't count either, so it's like, eh, whatever, I'm just... I should probably be running. Yeah, I'm gonna run from now on. I'm not even technically supposed to be using this, but I'm just I'm just doing it for sport. Cause I love Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil is the shit. All right. So we are on to the next city, maybe uh, a couple steps. Yes. Stupid Rattata. I do like how the mouse is interactive with the screen. You can't see my mouse, but you know. You can definitely see what I'm doing. You're a rookie trainer. I you blah blah blah. Shut up. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that you weren't wearing any running shoes. Thanks. I mean, that guy's just bolting around. This is the sea. Trust me, I've played Gen 2, I know what I'm fucking doing. Alright. Yeah, I'm definitely sprinting. Oh wait, I gotta go back up north. So we're gonna go... Alright, up. I made it. Map card. Thanks for wasting my time. I want to show you guys how to make eggs. Ah, yay, yay. Spinnerack. Hmm. Go ahead and tell everybody. You can go ahead and tell everybody. I gotta take every two steps to find a new Pokemon today. Where's Mr. Pokemon's house? Hey, kiddo! And how in the world are you going to be so obviously... Oh. Oh. I know where Mr. Pokemon's house is at. Oh my fucking god, dude. I hate this. Apricorn box. I don't need an apricorn box. This is seriously getting annoying. With all these fucking Pokemon running around.
Thought so. Oh my god, another fucking bug. Although Spinarak has gotta be my favorite bug Pokemon, I'm just saying. You must be Sin. I was the one who sent the, an email earlier about Professor Elm. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. Mystery Egg. A friend of mine from Ecrotic City gave it to me. I bet you can't find this kind of egg in Johto. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell me what it is. He's the best when it comes to research of Pokemon evolution. That is quite... That was a famous quote from Professor Oak. Now you're returning to Professor Elm. Here, you should have some rest. Oh, and with that, I'm Pokemon Oak, a Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So you're Sin. And I'm, I was just visiting a friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard that you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon? I see. You must be helping Professor Elm's research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. You'll treat it with this po your Pokemon with loving care, it seems. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See this with the latest research to the Pokedex? It automatically records Pokemon that you've seen or caught. It is a high-tech encyclopedia. You should. I'd like you to have it and to obtain the Pokedex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like we need to hear that story again. Hello, Sin. It's a disaster. It's just terrible. Oh no, what should I do? Please get back here now. Yeah, I'm on my way. Here to save the day. Alright. Woo, what's this? Antidote. Nice. I'm running as fast as I can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. You you got a Pokemon in the lab? What a waste. That's a Pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you. Don't you get in the way. What I, don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Oh, no, a battle. Ah. You little slut. Uh, I don't want to lose this battle, even though it doesn't really count. Quit missing! Holy fuck, dude. Thank you. Do you know what, who I am? Uh, I'm going to be a world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Give it back. That's my trainer card. Oh no, you saw my name! Damn right I did, and I'm going to tell on you. Oh yeah, I can go up here and... Uh... Who are you? We are investigating this the case of the missing Pokemon here. Whoever did it will come back to this site. Oh my, so who must it be? The one who did it. Hold on a second, he has nothing to do with it. I saw it. There's a red-haired boy looking into the building. Wait, you battled that bo a boy like that? He must have been the one who did it. Did you happen to get his name? Hmm, what did it, what is his name? Um Swami. <laughs> ah, I can't spell. Swami is his name. Don't wear it out. <laughs> Yes, thanks for helping with the investigation. I'm looking to look for the redhead individual. I'm glad that you they understand that you're innocent. See you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I, I, I get you. I got it. Yeah. I just want to go to my PC and... All right, so we're gonna go back to Cherry Grove. Do we have any Pokeballs? 
I highly doubt it. No, wait. That's the wrong one. Bag. No, we don't. I think that's more of a good thing than a bad thing. Ah, right, here we go again. Follow me. I know how to catch Pokemon, you dumb bitch. They should always ask yes or no when it comes to shit like this. Instead, they, te they force you how to. It's stupid. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and tell everybody. I'm the man, I'm the man. I'm the... Wait, do I have Pokeballs now? Yeah, I gotta catch this bitch. So I can at least open two eggs when I first start off the egg lock. The actual egg lock. Damn it! Oh, that's a... Holy shit, what the fuck's going on? I just... What in the world? Do you see this shit? Um, I think that's not a serious problem, but it's kind of annoying. That is really weird. Alright, it fixes itself. That's good. Alright. Actually, I want to catch one so I can at least open two eggs at the beginning of the next episode. That would be pretty nice to have... So when we trade in, um, well actually I can't now, so fuck. Anyway, I don't think I will do it. Just, just to be on the safe side, guys, I won't, I won't break any of the rules for you, but anyway. Thank you for watching. If you're a first time viewer, well actually we got the, we got the send us your eggs and I'm going to teach you how to do it here in the next couple of seconds here. So I will see you all in a couple of seconds. Peace. All right, I'm back, and um, I'm going to show you guys how to make an egg. So, what what kind of egg should I send Sin? Well, I don't really care what you send me, but there is some specific rules to this. Now, there were a couple of people that sent me some bad Pokemon, and it's me and JPP some bad Pokemon. I, I do believe like. JPP got like a uh, Pokemon that was of not in the first evolutionary chain. So one of the rules of sending me eggs is that it has to be either a baby Pokemon. If it has a baby chain, then you have to give it a baby chain. So if, just for, for instance, if you want to, you can't send me a Pikachu. You can't. So you got to send me a Pichu, a Pichu, and. Uh, you can give it an adamant nature uh, item. I really don't care if it has an item or not. You can have Poke Rest. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm just saying, just for reference. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, happiness has to be set at zero. Make sure you guys give it the proper abilities. So, if it's Pichu, it has static. So, give it static. I don't know how many times I gotta say this. Origin. I don't think it really matters. Just put heart gold just for the sake of the game. And this, whether it's male or female, it doesn't really matter. But make sure, and I, I've said this, we've said this. I'm going to make this very clear and to the point. If you want your egg used, it has to be an egg Pokemon. So make sure you click that egg. And if you want to send me a shiny, send me a shiny. But make sure, most importantly, this is why it's called an egg lock. Click the egg button. Check that thing off. Now, the PID. We're going to go search. Make sure you double click that and click OK. And then there's this P there's Pichu's PID. Met. It doesn't really matter. Just put a location down. I prefer to have them all in Pokeballs just for the sake of the game. Make sure that Pokemon is at level 1. I will have rare candy set up for you guys in Pokegen for stuff like that. So, we're all good there. Okay. Date. So, if I get like a level 3 Pokemon on the route, or whenever I hatch my first egg with when I trade in for Cyndaquil, I will 
put the Pokemon up to level 7. So we're going to just leave it at level 1. Stats, randomize them. Randomize them. Please. Attacks. Thunder. Give it the basic moves, the level 1 moves. So we're going to say Thundershock and Growl. And I know I got a lot of Pikachu stuff up here. Peek pee. Alright, y'all can't see anything. Now you're seeing my Twitter. We're going to Pokemon Database DB. Go to Pokemon DB. I know it's still like still says like ha it's just it only shows like a part of the screen. We're typing Pichu in the left hand corner or the right hand corner of the screen. So you see Pichu right here. I click Pichu, and you see little mouse Pokemon right here. Um, it's base stats and everything. Um, actually, Thunder Shock and Charm Tail Whip does not come until later. But these are the egg moves, the ones that you see right here, like. Hold on. Okay, so these are the egg. These are the moves right here: Thunder Shock and Charm. Those are gonna be the only two moves they can learn at level one. Now, you can give it all these moves that you see right here. This, these egg moves. You can give it Volt Tackle as much as you know. That's a, that's a big time move. You can give it Volt Tackle. Make sure it does have egg moves. So, uh, do not give it any of the t poke the moves it can learn by TM. Uh, please, I'd rather prefer to have it have egg moves and level up moves. So, if it has, you know, fake out, then give it fake. If you want to give it fake out, give it fake out. Uh, if you want to give it, well, you can't have disarming voice because it's we don't have fairy types in the game. Thunder punch. If you want to give it thunder punch, give it thunder punch. Uh, same, same old, same old. So we're gonna go back here. Hold on a second. So we're just going to put down Volt Tackle. Oh, I can't even spell. Look at that. <laughs> and Thunder Punch. So those are the egg those are just two examples of egg moves and we're actually you can't learn growl so we'll just give it charm. So those are the four if it has those four moves if you want to put those four moves in there if you're sending me a Pichu then by all means. Uh, then of course it'll load the save ID. But when you get the uh, when you get the Pokemon done, make sure you have this checked off. I cannot stress that enough. Make sure you have that checked off, please. And then when you make when you have that 100% checked, make sure that everything's like all checked the way you want my Pokemon to be. Go to File, Save Pokemon from Tabs. Let me drag this up to the screen so you guys can see it. And we will go to name the Pokemon. Well, don't name the Pokemon. Save it as like Sin's Egg. And then the Pokemon will be saved. And the way I'll get them into the game is that I will have a save file set up for this. And then I will open up the save file in Pokegen. And I will drag all the eggs in there. So if you guys want to join me in this egg lock, by all means. Like... Go ahead. Although you can't really get the eggs from me, but hey, maybe something will happen. I don't know. I'll make something happen. But I will uh, drag all the eggs into Pokegen, and there. Will, I hope I can get a lot more eggs than what I got last time. I'm looking at anywhere from like 65 to 70 eggs. Hopefully, I'm just I'm just guessing. But the max you want, I, I can I want you guys to send me is. Let's go two. The max you can send me is two. But make sure you do it right. Do not send me a Charizard. Do not send me a Venusaur. Do not send me a Typhlosion or a Lugia. No legendaries either. Absolutely no legendaries. That is a big time no-no. And it's highly frowned upon. I don't want to get backlash from any of this. But, uh, yeah, I don't want anybody getting on my case about some stuff that, you know, is, is minimal. So make sure you guys do this right. But anyway, I'm glad you guys uh, are going to be sending me eggs. And make sure that you guys uh, send me the correct eggs. I cannot stress this enough. i got to repeat myself 100 times. I will do it. 
but man I just really want to get this done right so thank you guys so much send me a plenty of eggs remember only send me two eggs just two and any other eggs after that you know will be deleted but uh anyway thank you guys so much for watching if you're a first time viewer please subscribe can't wait to see what you guys send me until then I'm out peace